Climate change forced by increasing greenhouse gases is the great problem of our time. A problem that will bring sea level rise, drought, loss of snowpack, flooding, and heat waves. Decisions are being made now for critical infrastructure that will last well into the current century. And society must know the regional implications of climate change to support adaptation to a new climate regime. Where will such guidance come from? Global climate models are the main tools for forecasting the expected climate of the next century. But the current generation of global climate models are too coarse to provide detailed information on how climate will change locally. For example, global models do not consider the key mountain barriers of the Northwest, such as the Olympics and Cascades. These local features play a large role in Northwest weather and climate. How can society acquire regional climate predictions? We need a technology that can translate global climate model forecasts to their local impacts. Fortunately, such a technology exists, regional climate models and dynamical downscaling. In dynamical downscaling, a much higher resolution climate model capable of simulating local weather features called a regional climate model is embedded within the global model. Since the regional model domain is much smaller than the global model, it can be run at much higher resolution, thus simulating and forecasting critical local features. Consider an example. This graphic shows the projected temperature changes at the surface between 1995 and 2095 using a global climate model. There's warming shown by the red colors, but little indication of any influence of the regional mountains. Now compare the global model results on the left to a regional climate projection on the right. The effects of terrain are clearly evident, with warming being much larger in places. Why is the warming greater in the regional climate model? Because it includes the melting of snow on the slopes of regional mountains, which are not considered by the global model. When snow melts, the dark earth absorbs the radiation, producing enhanced warming. Local terrain also affects precipitation, enhancing, enhancing rainfall on the windward side and producing rain shadows on the leeward side. With inadequate resolution for defining local mountain barriers, global models cannot properly simulate the implications of climate change on precipitation in areas of terrain. The changing regional climate will also affect future air quality of the region, the frequency and intensity of wildfires, and how wind and solar energy resources will change. Only regional climate modeling can provide guidance of how these critical features will change as the Earth warms. But there is another complication. Climate models are not perfect and have uncertainties in how they describe the atmosphere and the ocean. And there are uncertainties in how greenhouse gases, such as CO2, will change during the next century. To make good decisions, society needs to know the uncertainties in the regional climate predictions and the probabilities of various outcomes. Here are the surface temperature changes projected by 17 different global models. All show warming, but the amount of warming varies considerably. Thus, we need to run our regional climate model many times to understand the range of possible climate outcomes forced by increasing greenhouse gases. The proposed UW Climate Modeling Project will run a high-resolution regional climate model called WARF at a resolution of 12 kilometers over the western United States, compared to the typical resolution of 150 to 200 kilometers used by global climate models. We will do this for 1970 through 2100, driven by several dozen global climate simulations. To reduce costs and to allow running several regional climate simulations simultaneously, the model will be run using cloud computing. We have already done this successfully on the Amazon cloud for several century-long simulations. The regional climate model will also be used to drive ocean, air quality, and hydrological models to understand the impacts of regional climate change on a wide variety of societal issues. Funds contributed to this project will be mainly used to support graduate and undergraduate students. It will also help support necessary staff members and computer resources. 
Furthermore, the regional climate modeling results will be available to decision makers throughout the western United States. The science and technology developed and applied in this project could be used anywhere in the world and could even be the start of a vibrant new industry. Your help is needed because it will be nearly impossible to secure support by any other way. Federal climate research funding is collapsing and agencies like the National Science Foundation see such work as too applied. So thank you for considering this project.